Dash Shackle Space R&D. I've had a, a couple of emails about engine vacuum, and I have an engine running here on the sim tester, and I want to kind of show you what's going on here when uh, we talk about vacuum on an engine. When we measure vacuum, we measure it in inches of mercury, and when we measure for a carburetor, if we're actually going to measure the flow, for a four barrel, on a, like a V8, we might use about an inch and a half of mercury to measure our actual flow. With a two-cylinder, or I should say a four-cylinder, a two-barrel carburetor, uh, what we'll see is uh, a vacuum range of around three to get our CFM rating. Well, I had an idea here about maybe taking a vacuum gauge and putting it on one of the intake ports here so you can see how much vacuum an engine actually draws. Now right now this engine is only running at about 204 RPM. So it's not even going to be cranking pressure. And we'll have a look at this thing here. I'm going to get the camera set up on the tripod. So stand by one. I've got just a standard vacuum gauge here that you can buy at just about any auto parts store. And I have a block with a rubber pad on it, hooked up to this thing with a rubber hose. I'm going to go ahead and go over this port, and as you can see, we're pulling up about all oh, two to three inches of mercury here. Now that's not a whole lot of vacuum when you think about it, but again, this engine is only running at about 200 RPM. Cranking RPM when you start an engine is only around 400 RPM, so we're half of that. Now the reason that we have vacuum on this, of course, is because our valves are, are opening and closing at a certain time period, and the piston going up and down creates a vacuum or a suction. And we measure that again in inches of mercury. An engine that has good vacuum at an idle will have somewhere around 17 to 18 inches of mercury. And as you see here, again, this is just a very low RPM here, we're pulling up about two to three inches. Anyway, it's just something I wanted you to know about, and if you have any questions or comments about this, please let me know. This is John Edwards, Coast Mesa R&D, and I'll see you soon.